This is an instructional safety video for the Little Giant Conquest multi-purpose ladder. This ladder is specially designed for inspectors and appraisers um, to fit into the trunk or back seat of a car and go into multiple positions. I want to take a moment not only to cover how it uses, but some of the uh, safety items that you should follow when using this ladder. Now, the ladder adjusts in size and shape with two different components. Here at the top, this round button is called the palm button of the hinge, and it presses in and locks into place and allows you to adjust to the different um, configurations of the ladder, either into storage, into the A-frame position, or all the way open straight as an extension ladder. Now the other component that you need to be familiar with are called rock locks. The rock locks are, there's four of them, two on each side of the ladder. You simply squeeze the rock locks open and they lock open and that allows you to telescope each side of the ladder independently. So you can telescope this up, lock it into any one of these four rungs and then that can be used in a staircase position or you can adjust the other side by releasing those rock locks and adjusting the other side up. Now one more, one more position as, a, as an A-frame ladder is the 90 degree position. The ladder can be used in this configuration up against the wall. You want to make sure that you're up against the wall or a vehicle and then you can work from this side directly up uh, against the wall into tight corners so you're not actually leaning your ladder against the house and marring up the structure or damaging the stucco or the siding. Uh, the US military uses the ladder in this position so that they don't scratch up their aircraft. So um, a great position if you're up against the wall or in a tight spot. Now some safety features that I want to talk about while we're in the A-frame position. Like any other, like other A-frame or step ladder, you want to make sure that as you climb it, you stay centered between the two side rails. Um, you want to make sure that as you ascend and descend that you always have three points of contact so that you keep a hold of the ladder and you never want to carry heavy tools or items up the ladder with you. If you need to carry heavy or get heavy items up to the top of your ladder, you need to tie those off on a rope, get to the top of the ladder, and then pull those tools up to you once you're up on the ladder. Now, as a A-frame ladder, again, that can be used in a four foot, five foot, six foot, and seven foot size to take it down just reverse the process, squeeze those rock locks, telescope that half down and then squeeze it at the top and lock it back into place. The hinge at the top, push in, that'll go right back to the storage position. Now as an extension ladder, you want to go ahead and carry the ladder out to where you want to use it. Open the ladder up straight as an extension ladder and then lay it on the ground with the rungs facing the ground in the position where you're going to use the ladder and then unlock the rock locks, telescope it out to the desired length from the top and the bottom And then either with the help of another person holding the bottom of the ladder or up against the wall, make sure that the bottom of the ladder is supported, lift the top, and then hand over hand, you want to walk the ladder up and pull the bottom out and lean it up against the wall. Now while we have the ladder in this extension ladder position, I want to talk a little bit about some of the uh, safety items with extension ladders. 
Like other ladders, you, when you're climbing, you want to make sure that you keep your body centered between the two side rails. Um, and you want to use the same three point of contact rule as you climb up and down. Now, if you're climbing up onto a roof, you want to make sure that you have three feet of ladder above the roof line. Um, down here at the bottom, you want to make sure that you're set up on good, dry, uh, solid ground, as level as you can. Uh, if it's unlevel, then you'll need to use a leveling device to level the ladder. And you want to make sure that your ladder is at a 75 and a half degree angle against the house, or a four to one ratio. So for every four feet up, you want to come one foot out away from the wall that you're working against. The easiest way to do this is the, the fireman method. Uh, the fire department teaches their firemen to place their toes at the base of the ladder, um, face the ladder, and then hold your arm straight out and place the palm of your ladder on the rung that's at that height. Um, that, that gives you kind of a natural four to one ratio with your body. So the easiest way to do it, we don't want you to have to take a level out, but just either measure or do the four to one ratio where you put your toe at the base of the ladder, reach your hand out and um, put it on that top rung there. As you're setting those ladders up and down, you want to make sure that you look for hazards. You want to make sure that you never set it up in front of a doorway um, that's going to open your direction. Uh, and you want to make sure that it's not in a, a path of um, travel around a corner so that a forklift's not going to come around the corner and not have time to see you before they run into you. So if any of those things, you need to put out cones or markers um, or have somebody watch if you're if that's the only place that you can set up. Now to take the ladder down in this position, you want to do it the exact opposite. Again, either have somebody support the bottom of the ladder or push it up against a wall for support. And then again, hand over hand, reverse that process, lay it back down on the ground, squeeze those rock locks and telescope it back in on this side as well. Stand it back up. Now, we want to, in this extension ladder position, we want to talk about one more um, point on this, on this ladder. You'll notice that the Conquest is designed so that it has a flared section on one side, and the other side has a straight section this is for uh, attic access. You can unlock the top of the ladder, adjust it up as about as high as the roof is until you get to that attic opening. And then from the bottom, you line that up and from the bottom, you can raise that up a rung at a time and go right up into that attic opening. And then to get it back down, just reverse that. Again, making sure that you're, you hold on to the intersection of the ladder as you adjust that. If you unlock these pins without uh, securing the intersection of the ladder, of course, gravity is going to cause that to fall down. So as you unlock those, you do them one at a time. Make sure that you have that section secured so that you can safely bring it down, line it up with that rung, and lock, lock it into place. Then to bring it back down, again, unlock your hinge. That locks open. Rotate it back around. That'll lock in the A-frame position. And then again at the storage position. And you've got the carrying handle here on the side uh, to carry it to and from the work. Because it stores in really half the size of a ladder of this length, uh, it's a lot easier to get in and out of a person's home or into a business without denting the walls and the doorways and knocking over um, lamps and decorations as you move about the property. Again, this is the Conquest Multipurpose Ladder by Little Giant.